All right, welcome back. Our lesson today is addition using the standard algorithm and missing values. The learning scale that we're working on today is um, our number and base 10 4 scale, which is about adding and subtracting whole numbers. Today we'll be looking at standard 3, but we'll also be looking at standard 4, and we'll be specifically again looking at addition. All right, so let's do some quick review first. So remember when I add, I go from right to left. So I have 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. I need to regroup. 6 plus 6 is equal to 12, and I have this 1, so it's 13. Again, regroup. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus the other 1 is 11. We need to regroup. 8 and 4 is equal to 12. We have this 1, so it's 13 now. Regroup. And 4 and 1 is equal to 5. And so we need to add that as well to make it 6. All right. And remember, if we needed to check, we could round. So these are pretty close, so we know we did the right thing. All right, so let's get a little bit tricky. Now we're going to try to do this without knowing what some of the numbers are. So I know that 8 and 3 is 11, so I'm carrying the 1. I don't know what the value is in this box, but I could figure it out, knowing that 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. So I carry the 1 here, and this first box should be a 3. Now, I have 5 and 1, plus something in this box is going to give me 9. Well, 5 plus 1 is 6, and I need 3 more to get me 9. Now, I know that 8 and 4 is equal to 12, so I had to regroup here. And I know that 4 and 1 is equal to 5. So to get to 6, I need one more. Now let's check and see if we were correct. So we had in our a problem 14,568 plus 48,363 should be equal to 62,931. All right, so I'm going to erase this and let's check to see if we were correct. And let's look at our numbers. So we have our 3, we have our other 3, and our 1. So we were correct. All right, let's try another one. So here, I know that 2 plus something has to get me 9. Well, 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. So 7 has to go in that first box. 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. So I'm going to regroup that 1. Here's my 1 here. 5 and 2 is equal to 7 plus 1 more is equal to 8. So there's that missing box. 4 and 2 is equal to 6. And 1 and something is equal to 3. Well, that has to be a 2. So let's rewrite our problem and see if we are correct. And I'm going to circle the numbers this time that were boxes so we can specifically look at those when the boxes go away. So we had this 8 here that was a box, we had the 7, and we had the 2. Let's erase so that when our numbers appear we can see them. And let's see if we were correct. Alright, so we had a 2 and 8 and a 7. So yes, we're correct. All right, let's try another one. Here I have 7 and 9. 7 and 9 will give me 16, so I should have a 6 in this bottom box and I have to carry a 1. 7 and 1 and 1 is equal to 9. 7 plus something has to get me a 3 here. Now 7 plus something does not equal 3 because 7 is bigger than 3. So it has to be something where I have to regroup. 
okay? So 7 plus 6 is equal to 13, which would force me to regroup, and that would get me a 3 down below. Now I know 7 plus 1 is already equal to 8, so I'd have nothing in this box. Let's rewrite so we can check to see if we were correct. And I'm going to circle those numbers that were missing. Let's go ahead and look. And there we have it. We have a 6, a 0, and a 6, so we were correct. Now it's your turn. See if you can find what goes into these missing boxes. Remember, think about your learning goal before you end this lesson. Thank you for your hard work, and I'll be looking for those numbers that are missing, and I'll see you tomorrow.